guys welcome back to another vlog how's everybody doing i feel like i have been slacking in terms of vlogging i don't know why maybe it's because i'm just waiting on like moving so i'm like i don't even have content like i think my brain is just telling me once i move i'll have content so that's why i've not been filming but today i have uh like some things to do um, so on my last vlog I had mentioned that I had settled on a house but today a friend of mine called me and she told me like where she lives there is an empty house um, so I want to go and check it out because one you cannot put all your eggs in one basket because remember I told you that the house that I had in mind somebody else was still staying there so there is like i'm not praying for that but there's like a small possibility for them to say that they are not moving and that would like really ruin things for me so let me go and check that other house and then yeah we'll see we'll see how it looks like but then let me tell you you know you can go and check a house even if you don't want to like move in a certain area but the way the house looks in a convinced to actually that's what happened when i was moving here like this area um i was taking a friend of mine to like look for houses and then i came across this really beautiful house and i was like no it's settled i don't like this area but i'm going to take this house but nowadays i have like i really love this area <laughs> despite the fact that when i was moving here i didn't like it so yeah that's what's up like you can go and check a house and then ikubambe and then you're like you know what i really don't mind the area but i'm not going far from here so there's that uh let me show you a few things that i've recently got by the way actually let me set you down we talk properly because i have a lot to catch you up on um so guys let me show you the things that i've recently gotten first of all a friend of mine got me these white converse shoes that are absolutely stunning the problem is they are big than my foot so i don't know what to do like i don't know how to salvage this I wish it was like a smaller size than the way it's big because what am I going to do with a size 41? I usually wear like a 40 or 39 so I don't know. I think, is there a lady Munyana Vanga 41? I feel like 41 ni like number ya a guy. So I don't know, maybe I'll give do a giveaway or something. I don't think it's wise to like sell something that you have been gifted. It doesn't make sense honestly so I'll just do a giveaway or something i don't know and then the other thing that i got is this jacket that looks like this i actually lifted it let me put it on so this is how the jacket looks like absolutely stunning i love it and then it's like the black and white looks amazing amazing also i love the lighting in this house i really hope that that other house that i'm going to check like the lighting is good because you know me and filming and vlogging and content creation we need lighting so i feel like that's like the one thing that i'll be looking out for so yeah let's head to the house and also i'm thinking of um doing something about my hair getting my nails done like uh, hey i'm thinking of doing so much i don't know if that will be possible today but i do need to repair my hair though i'm thinking instead of like doing redoing like braids i just go to the salon and then on eating and there's some new lines up and belly yeah i feel like that would be also saving time and money which is what we are here for so yeah guys so i just arrived uh, where i was supposed to check like the empty house it's not this one so i called i've arrived and i've called the caretaker he's not speaking and i hate when they do that because why why can you not communicate like communication is so important when i was leaving the house i did call him and i told him that you i'm leaving so i'm hoping i'll find you there and then he was like okay sure you when you arrive just call me now i've called him three times now he's not speaking so it's quite a distance from where i stay so instead of going all the way back i was just walking around and i decided ah, let me just look around because you never know i might see something that i like so i've come across this house that i'm in <laughs> i'm going to flip the camera and show you how it looks it's a one bedroom first of all um the environment is nice but i don't even know if you can hear right now and i don't know i love kids i do but Sometimes, especially when you want to or when you want to pick a kelele, it's just it's not for me. And I feel like this this area is a family building, 
so but the house i don't know let me flip the camera i film it for you so that you can tell me how it looks a bit it it looks confusing honestly <laughs> it does first of all this color is enough for me i want a house in it fully white all right you guys first of all the tiles look amazing i love the tiles but what i don't love is this color and then i'm hoping if like I decide I don't know if I decide to move in here they're going to like uh, paint the whole wall white but that thing of the kids is just turning me off honestly I wish I could get one out it's a pretty decent place I don't know how much this house is I'm actually going to ask once I'm done but yeah that's the sitting area and then on top in a car here let me get back so that you can clearly see so that's the door and then that is the sitting area and then on your left, you have a kitchen, which looks like that. And then now, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what, what is happening here. Is this supposed to be a countertop or what? Like, what is this space for? Because that's how we can read in your I don't understand what this space is for, honestly. But yeah, is this supposed to be, oh, this is a dining area, right? Actually, this is a dining area and then <laughs> this is the sink. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so that's the kitchen and then the dining area and then the sitting room. You're in your bacon at corners and then this is the bedroom which is quite small. Because like, is a bed supposed to fit here? And then this is the, the cabinet. The cabinet is in a car heavy. Okay, I mean, the, the cabinets are spacious, right? But this bedroom is too small. And then... Oh, this is a combined bathroom and a toilet. Yo, this is confusing, honestly, it is. But I'm in love with the sitting area. The sitting area is so pretty. Guys, can you see? So cute. The chandeliers, I mean, yeah, they're adding something into it. <laughs> uh, the dining area touch was a good thing. Now, what I don't like is this, is the materials, the kitchen. And then the kitchen is quite small. In a kaibo. Then the cabinets. So yeah guys, that's it. So I don't know how much this house is going for. I'm going to ask it for you guys. In case anyone is interested, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it honestly. Corner so much corners plus the kids thing. I feel like that is like a major factor. So if anyone is interested, um, I'll, I'll ask the prices and then we tell them. If anyone of you is interested, that is. So, we just can 10k and then 10k is really worth the price for this house, but I don't think it's 10k. But yeah, that's how the house looks like. Comment down below and tell me what you think about it. By the way, house hunting is exhausting. I'm going to buy some fries. That's what I'm having. Next day. Guys, it's the following day and I just talked to the caretaker and he said that today he will be there. So I want to go and check the house out. I hope he'll not do me dirty the way he did yesterday. But before I go to the other house, I need to pass by the bank because I need to sort like a few things. And then if everything uh, goes well, then I'm going to pay for like the other house because, yeah, I don't know. I just want to be ready, you know so i hope you guys are not getting bored with like the house hunting series or whatever but i think this will be like literally the last time i'm, I'm going to check houses now i need to settle on one 
and yeah hopefully i'll be happy with um how the other house looks like i have a friend who's living there and yeah she has told me the houses are nice and i trust her judgment but of course i need to check it out like myself you know so yeah guys this will be the last vlog you guys will be watching of me house hunting and this is shinani gazi suzote the other vlog the next vlog you'll be watching will be a moving vlog hopefully hopefully <laughs> so yeah um there's something I wanted to talk to you about actually yesterday when I was introducing the vlog, but somehow I forgot. I've added personal shopping to my job description. What I mean is, like, I've started running errands on behalf of people, people who cannot be able to run the errands themselves at a small fee. I've done this... Um, for a friend of mine who is in Mombasa, she's actually a subscriber and she's the one who put me on and I was like, you know what, I could actually do this because sometimes I tend to have like a lot of time on my hands and instead of just being idle, not doing anything, I thought um, that would be like a nice way of making extra money, right? So yeah, if you're like not in Nairobi or even if you're in Nairobi, but you maybe you're tied up, you have work, especially those people who like do nine to five and they don't have extra time to run errands, you can send me and yeah, at a small fee. And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> if you want your errands to be run, you can, um, if you want your errands to be run, uh, you can DM me on Instagram, Stacy Pimbogo, or even Kia. Um, but Instagram is more private. Of course, this type of uh, job needs a lot of trust. And like I've said, I've done this errand for like a subscriber of mine and she was satisfied. I was getting her a bed in Thika Road and she's located in Mombasa. Um, I'll actually place a small video of how the bed turned out and she was actually happy with everything so if you're like far i'm thinking what when you're maybe Mombasa, kisumu and you don't want to come all the way to nairobi especially when you want to buy like things from kamukunji isili you know those places yeah you can always send me um yeah i'm very trustworthy guys <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I think I'm going to explain this more in details when I have time. But for now, let's go to the bank and then we go to check out the other house. And yeah. I love So guys, this is the other house, Eco located on rooftop, and it's huge. This is the sitting area. I love the fact that it's painted like all white, and then rangi ni amafuta. At least when the wall gets dirty, you can clean it. It has some wall brackets, which is cool. This is a nice house. And then you go this way. You have a kitchen, which looks like this and then at least some cabinets i love the kitchen counter this looks so cute i love that and then this kitchen is massive and then there's a balcony hey open your shago kabisa but i actually don't mind so that's the balcony which is big that whole space, bro. That's the kitchen. And then the toilet, which looks like that. It's a combined toilet. I love that thing so much. It looks cute. And then this is the bedroom area. And then here are the cabinets. Although there is no mirror, I don't know where they they don't have a mirror. Oh, this one is supposed to go like that. Why is this space here? Like these are the tiny things that I always hate. Like wait, wait, what, what is that space for? Why it's big. Those are the cabinets. They look like that. But I'm in love with the sitting room. The sitting room is it for me. And then there's also a uh, 
a small space. 33. How much? This is the outside. Even the lights are changing color. That is so bougie, but I don't know how I think I feel about the red. But there guys, comment down below and tell me which is the best house between the two of them. Between this one and the one that I showed you yesterday. I love these tiles. They look so cute. But this particular house, the most thing that I'm in love with is the sitting area. The sitting area has it. Like, this is so big and nice. The tiles are so cute. And even the kitchen, actually. You know what? The kitchen is pretty, pretty decent, if you ask me. So yeah, comment down below and tell me which um, comment down below and tell me which one you love the most. I wish even the, the doors were like white. That would be so cute. But anyway. Several days later. We passed a furniture shop and they're selling couches. That one is going for 22k. And then this other one looks like that. Like that. Actually, this is Patrick's shop. I love I'm not joking. No, my guys, them, them, love me. Since.